after you download two Max projects, Music Connect 1.5.0 and Music Starter, uh, both of which should be unzipped and put in File Pass Document under Document Max 8, Max 8 Project. If you don't have a Projects folder, please make one and put these in unzipped. And then if you uh, open this one, Max 1.5.0. It looks like this, like this, or oh, assuming you're already connected. I'll make a video of that. And the other one is going to be my music starter, this. Okay, so, right, so you have all this coming in already. So I'll show you um, one by one. So you got the sensor, you have the pouch, and you just put it inside. See, it's a little hard and it's supposed to be because you don't want this to flying off so now it's in the pouch and I mean you can just use it like this or you can just uh, attach it to the velcro side of the glove and like this it's a medical velcro so it doesn't fly off as you can see I had the experience <laughs> okay so it's still working so now the first thing you want to do is to calibrate. You can do it over here in the music 1.5.0. It does a reset calibration. And right now it's not calibrated to your default position. So you want to decide on your default position. So let's say this is a default position. And then you say uh, reset calibration. Or in the music starter patch, there's also a um, reset orientation. So you can either do this and do that. It's the same thing. So I'm just going to do it over here, there. They all talk it to each other. So now this is good. Okay, four patches that I shared with you. And uh, let's try this one. So your pitch and roll. So as you see, your pitch and, oh, I have to calibrate. So your pitch and roll, I did. Okay, so let's try this one. Uh, you just click here to activate. Yes, no, yes, no, all right. no. <laughs> okay, and this one is the uh, uh, yaw, so this means like this, um, like this. This one is a chromatic strip. Something like that. And this one is the roll. So um, I'm changing the uh, pitch of this soundtrack, so it's a little messy. Okay, and let's do the jolt. Jolt, again, is a sudden movement. Well, it was originally called a pizzicato. <laughs> um, so what it happens is if I uh, test this, just play some MIDI note, right? So whatever, right? So let's try this. It's going to be some MIDI percussion notes. A little soft. I hope you can hear it. Anyway. So there is that. You can also do a uh, audio, and this is just going to say yes. Yes. Right. So. Yes. 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 Right. Yes. Yes. Any it, yes. any direction it doesn't have to be down. Yes. Yes. But it has to be quite. Yes. Uh, quite a fast movement. Yes. And you can also um, adjust the threshold and stuff like that. So we'll work on that. Okay. So the next one is oh energy. Yes, so this one, um, if you shake it, okay. you can load any uh, uh, sound you want. I think it, this one works really well with like a droney sound if you put it in. Okay. And this one is more jugged movement. Oh, no. anyway, so like that. Okay, so that was the energy. This one is a steadiness. Steadiness means you're moving in one direction 
you know, um, steadily. This came from my violin movement, right? So um, you, can, you can see the in here, this uh, starter patch, this yellow bar goes steadily, right? Like that. If I move, it doesn't really sound like anything. But watch if I start to be steady. You see the so nothing. So you can change magic. <laughs> anyway, so that's that, and this one another uh, steadiness control one. So this one is the same sound file, but I'm just uh, um, um, controlling the speed of it. So it sounds like this. <laughs> so, it's kind of magical, I like this. So, I use this a lot for the violin, so if I go like this and I can change things or slow things down or, you know, so, like that, okay. 